What's going on everyone? It is Will Mitchell here. I'm back in Belize, sitting in our office, and I wanna give you guys an update on my complete or as complete as possible travel guide to when you're coming to San Pedro, when you're coming to Ambergris Key. You might have a vacation booked. You might be getting those vacation jitters, feeling excited about, ooh, I'm going to Belize. I'm gonna be in the ocean. I'm gonna be swimming with turtles and all of these amazing things. Well, look no further because I got the details for you of how everything goes down. So let's start from the very beginning. If you haven't booked your flight, you are going to book flying into the Philip Goldson International Airport located just outside of Belize City. From there, you have two options to get to Ambergris Key because it's an island. So you have to either boat or fly. Or I guess if there was a bridge, you could drive, but there's no bridge. So boating let's start there the belize express water taxi the terminal is located at the radisson it's about a 30 minute drive from the airport so you have to actually go leave the international airport get in a taxi and get a ride over to that water taxi terminal from there the cost is about 30 dollars and 50 cents us to go from belize city to san pedro and the ride takes an hour to an hour and a half depending on how wavy it is and how windy it is and what the weather conditions are. Option B, you walk out of the, you know, finish customs, immigration, everything you do there, and then you walk out of that, go to either Tropic Air or Maya Air and you can get a flight. It's a 15 minute puddle jumper. They do it on a 13 seat Cessna caravan plane and that takes about 15 minutes realistically it's not a very long flight so you can pick either one of those airlines and fly in now you're in san pedro now you're on la isla bonita one of the most beautiful islands in the world you're driving your golf cart down the street and you're wondering where do i book a hotel well i'm going to give you guys some of my options with varying price ranges so you can know you know maybe you want to just be more economical with the trip maybe you want to ball out and get a luxury hotel well I'll give you my complete list and you can make your decision. So starting with the higher end hotels that I really love, Victoria House, it's a beautiful hotel located right beside Mahogany Bay Village. So when you get out of the airport terminal or water taxi, which, land, which I should have mentioned it arrives in Central Park, you would then go south for about 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes at most, depending on if there's any golf cart traffic and that is one of my favorite hotels i'm there all the time another really beautiful high-end upscale hotel is mata chica it's located north so it's actually past secret beach so if you're going from town i would expect about a 40 minute 30 minute golf cart ride something in that range or they, they also have a boat which will pick you up from somewhere in town and then take you to the resort so couple options there depending on if you're renting a cart most of these hotels if not all of them when you're in that luxury scale offer an airport pickup service so you'll walk out the door and someone will be standing there it'll say victoria house your name and then they'll take you to the hotel so from a high-end luxury hotel standpoint those are the ones i really love also mahogany bay village and more importantly the houses that are in mahogany bay brand new completed upscale homes uh, we did a video a little bit ago showing how you book the houses so we'll throw that back in they're all on airbnb but getting into a brand new home it's got great property management they'll facilitate whatever you want whether it's fishing trips whether it's snorkeling trips diving trips whatever you want to do you have all those options so my top three there mahogany bay victoria house and mata chica three great options for luxury hotels if you guys want something that's kind of mid-range or you know not in the higher end or maybe not in the lower end then i would recommend looking at places like ramon's village it's one of the oldest hotels in belize it's located almost directly across from the san pedro airport so you would go across and then walk south a little bit maybe like i don't know half a mile quarter mile that's a great option it's got this tiki hut vibe they got a great restaurant they have one of the best diving and fishing facilities on their dock on the entire island so they have a whole fleet of boats that goes out to the blue hole they go deep sea fishing they go snorkeling they can do private charters for you you can go with a group it's really up to you so ramon's beautiful spot 
Next up, I'd recommend the Sun Breeze. The reason I love the Sun Breeze, Blue Water Grill, the restaurant there, is an amazing restaurant. It's one of my favorites. It's located right across from the airport. So no pickup needed. You can actually land at the San Pedro Airport, grab your bag, and walk across the road, and you're at the Sun Breeze. So you wanna talk about a convenience factor after you've traveled, being able to literally land and walk into your hotel? You gotta love that. Next up, I would recommend looking at some of these resorts that are north of the bridge, Cocoa Beach, uh, Las Terrazas, um, Grand Caribe, Sunset Caribe, places like that. They might have better deals from a mid-range perspective, but that's kind of my mid-range list for you guys. Let me think if there's anything I'm missing here because we're just kind of going off the cuff. For now, we'll leave it at that. If you're looking at, you know, budget traveler, more economy traveler, and you just want something, you want a place to hang your hat, I would recommend Sambar. It's a hostel. There's really not many hostels on the island. There's only a couple. That's my hotel portion of this video, guys. Let's talk about restaurants now. You know, the dining experience when you're on a trip is one of the most important things. You gotta know where to get the right meals, what are the price points for the meals, and let's talk about that a bit and break it down for you. So some of the more you're here, you wanna try local food type of place. I love Neri's Tacos. That's like on the pricing scale, very, very affordable. Yes. It's a dollar Belize for three tacos. So extremely affordable and the food is amazing. They have all of these different kinds of juice. So try that, maybe try an horchata juice. I don't know, maybe you want a watermelon juice. Check out Neri's Tacos. Another great one for dinner and lunch is El Fagon. El Fagon offers a wide variety of different types of local dishes that you're probably gonna love. If you're looking for just a great burrito or some street pupusas or kind of, you know, just grab and go type of food, going into San Pedro town, walking through Central Park, they have all of these different food stands that are really good. So definitely check those out. Moving along, if you're looking for a place where you can have a drink and relax, some of my favorite spots to go for drinks and food include Sambar, which we talked about before. You're right on the beach, you have great pizzas. Right by Sambar is Palapa Bar. Palapa Bar is a bar that's over the water, so they've got great food, great cocktails, live music. Rum Dog, you guys might have seen Lalo in the field when Lalo went to Rum Dog. Rum Dog is one of my favorite places to go because I like taking my boat over there and there's always a spot for my boat at Rum Dog so I can pull it up, I can go up, I can have some food and you know everyone around can grab drinks or whatever, we can have some drinks and then go from Rum Dog. So I love Rum Dog for that reason and the food is amazing. There I recommend the chicken piccata or they've got this great, great appetizer, these shrimps. I don't know what they're called on the menu but Try the shrimps, guys, please. Oh, they also have beer on tap there. So if you want like actual beer on tap, only there and our next place, Truck Stop, have that. So Truck Stop is great. It's a little area with these shipping containers that have been converted into little restaurant, little, I guess, restaurants or, you know, kitchens. And then you order there. They have a bar, they have a theater outdoor, they have a dock that you can sit on and watch the sunset and it's a great vibe, so definitely check that out. Or Crocs, which is located just south of there. Crocs is a second story thatch roof bar that has all the best sporting events. So if you wanna watch sports, go to Crocs and hang out there, get some food, get some drinks. Those are kind of my more bar food and chilling, which is really the vibe out here, so definitely check those spots out. If you're looking for a high-end romantic dinner, Maybe you gotta take wifey out and butter her up a bit. This is my list for that. Top of the list is Victoria House. They have the ability to actually rent out one of their little docks over the water for a private dinner. They have an amazing menu. All the dishes are always good. In my opinion, it's the most consistent restaurant on the island. The best food and it's very, very beautiful and you're on the beach. So Victoria House, 10 out of 10. Next up, I'd recommend looking at Blue Water Grill for a dinner. Blue Water Grill has, again, a wide variety of food from Belizean dishes. They have a sushi night and so many great drink and wine options. So Blue Water Grill, it's on the list. 
Of course, if you want a luxury dinner, you gotta look at Giotto. You guys see Toshia in so many of our videos because the food is amazing. What's my favorite thing on the menu, you might ask? Well, it's gotta be the Mitchell roll. My second favorite thing on the menu, might you might ask? It's gotta be the chewy bun. So when you get there, you're gonna see some of the dishes that Toshia and I created together. And of course, that is essentially my favorite restaurant on the island. So what am I missing here, guys? We've talked about getting to the island. We've talked about hotels. We've talked about restaurants. If you guys have any questions about bookings on here or doing anything in Belize, really, shoot me an email. As always, guys, I'm happy to help. I'm happy to chat. And we can't wait to see you out here in paradise. So thanks again for watching, guys. If you have any questions about today's video, don't forget to throw them in the comment section. Like and subscribe. We really appreciate you following along with everything going on on the YouTube channel. If you haven't already and you're looking to get more information on Belize Real Estate, check out our book, The Investor's Guide to Belize Real Estate. It's available on Amazon. In it, we detail all the different things you'd want to know before making a purchase. Don't forget to say goodbye to Chewy. And as always, guys, we can't wait to see you down here in paradise.